Hey all my dear students, welcome back to your Unacademy Neat English channel. Today I am going to let you know about trick for Colby Selector Lessons. Kids, along with the trick for preparation of alkane, alkene and alkyne, that means this trick is going to convert your hours, whatever the work, just 10 minutes. It is going to take fraction of seconds once if you are confident about this trick. And then at the last, I will let you know about the detailed analysis. And all these things are going to happen just within 10 minutes. So stay tuned. Let's see the Colway's electrolysis for your alkanes preparation. Any type of alkane. Mark my words. Categorical I am telling you kids. Any alkane preparation you can do within fraction of second. Just see to it what I am going to tell you. Kids, everyone look at this. This compound should be given like this. Either the sodium salt or the potassium salt, that is the aqueous salt of any sodium or potassium salt of carboxylate ion. And here is the current. Only this much will be provided in your exam. Now, how to do the question? See, this one is the sodium salt of propanoate. Let us take propanoate. What you are supposed to do just in your examination, this part, you have to focus on this part kids and just do one thing, break it from here in the examination. Right now it may, may it might take some time but in the examination, once if you have practice all over it, then definitely you just combine this part with this part means these two parts you are supposed to combine and what you got you got butane what you got butane now at anode at anode you will get this butane ch3 ch2 then this ch2 and that's CH3. This much you got at anode. I will let you know what happens in at anode that in your detail analysis. But right now, see this butane and what you got along with butane, you got this carbon dioxide at anode only. This carbon dioxide at anode only. Two moles of carbon dioxide. One mole of alkane then 2 moles of carbon dioxide. That means at anode you got total 3 moles of gases. 3 gaseous moles. Total you got 3 gaseous moles. Now kids, this part I am going to tell you will take place in the solution. See to it any OH. NaOH, this will get formed within the solution kits, within the solution. That means as the reaction is going to take place, you will get basic medium. That means during the reaction, pH of the solution will keep on increasing and this is in the solution. Now kids, you might be thinking why this is happening in the solution when I am going to tell you the detail mechanism of it you will come to know but right now this is a trick so this is in solution now what is left hydrogens are left so these hydrogens are left and this hydrogen gas will get evolved at cathode so you got one mole of hydrogen gas at cathode so this is taking place at cathode i hope this is clear to all of you. Three gaseous moles at anode and one gaseous mole at cathode. So, whatever the question is going to come in exam, what alkane is going to form, what the pH effect during the reaction, and what is evolved at cathode. Now, see to it, it's this is for alkene preparation, sodium oxalate. Now, same thing you are supposed to do. Kids, just take it out 
so you can see if you are going to take this thing what you are going to get just see CH2 already bonded with CH2 now these two electrons these two electrons combine them and then you will get ethene now two moles of carbon dioxide now kids do let me know if you are able to understand these two gaseous moles are getting formed at at anode at anode and what is you are getting at cathode no no this is in the solution that is at cathode do remember anode cathode anode and cathode so in between anode and cathode what is there that is the solution so in the solution you are going to get two moles of NaOH so pH will keep on increasing now kids if you are able to understand this alkene preparation I am going to move towards alkyne preparation and let me show you and just try to find out what you are supposed to do this is sodium malate you know Ohm's gap I have told you oxalic acid malonic acid succinic acid glutaric acid adipic acid pimelic pimelic acid so whatever the sodium salt or potassium salt of this acid has been provided what you are supposed to do just divide it from here and will form another bond means one more bond will be formed and what you are going to get at anode definitely at anode you will get acetylene gas whatever the alkyne gas and along with that now you can do within your brain you can do within your brain that you will get carbon dioxide two moles of co2 so all these three moles you got at anode and now at cathode what you're going to get definitely you will get hydrogen gas h2 gas now kids what is in the solution kids do let me know yes the NaOH two moles of NaOH you got so the pH of the solution will keep on increasing so in this way you have seen that how to prepare immediately alkane alkene alkyne any type of alkane any type of alkene or alkyne methane can't be prepared by this reaction now I'm going to tell you the detailed analysis this is electrolytic tank you know very well you must be studying from class 9 10 this is electrolytic tank and electrolytic tank is provided with two terminals you can say one is being anode attached with positive terminal of the battery one is cathode attached with negative terminal of the battery don't get confused with electrochemical cell in electrochemical cell anode is being negative and cathode is being positive because in electrochemical cell electrons gets generated but I am not going to deal with electrochemical cell this is electrolytic cell and electrolytic cell means the terminal which is, which is attached with positive terminal is known as anode and another one cathode and these are two anions what are two anions see kids we are provided with two anions CH3 CH2 C double bond O, O negative and OH negative. These are two anions, and definitely anions will move towards anode because opposite charges attracts. This is having negative charge, that is having positive charge. So there will be attraction in between negative and positive. But do remember, two types of ions are moving towards anode, but both can't get oxidized. What I'm talking oxidized at anode always oxidation takes place always oxidation takes place and at cathode always reduction takes place whatever the cell is there electrochemical cell or electrolytic cell at anode always oxidation at cathode always reduction oxidation means what kids loss of electrons this you have to know loss of 
electron if you are dealing with electrolytic cell you should have to know you should have to have this much of knowledge that oxidation means loss of electron and reduction means gain of yes 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 electrons now out of these two only this is going to get oxidized because this has got more preference for oxidation because this is more unstable so loss of electron by this ch3 ch2 coo negative whenever any anion is losing electron this will become as ch3 ch2 c double bond o o free radical if i take two moles this two moles then two electrons loss will be there now carbon dioxide is very good leaving group so co2 will eliminate out as free radical that homolysis you can see homolytic cleavage homolytic cleavage homolysis so you got two moles of ch3 ch2 free radical and this electron will form bond with that it will form carbon dioxide two moles of carbon dioxide and these two combine to form c4h10 now kids these two electrons definitely will be gained by some cation now two types of cations we are having h plus and na plus kids if you remember electrochemical series then you know sodium magnesium aluminum like that the one with more power to undergo reduction that is having more standard reduction potential value and that is of h plus because you can say na plus is not going to get reduced that means it is having less power to undergo reduction because if you take hydrogen and sodium these are the cations if i am talking about neutral form then sodium has got more power to undergo oxidation so more power to undergo oxidation that means na plus is having less power to undergo reduction so h plus two eyes of h plus will take two electrons and this will convert into hydrogen gas and this is happening at cathode that means gain of electron that is being redu reduction so who is left within the solution kids what is left in the solution so from this side what is left oh negative ion is left and from that side na plus ion is left so as the reaction is continuing as the reaction is moving in the forward direction so continuously oh negative ions will increase and that's why ph of the solution will keep on increasing kids i will keep on giving you such type of tricks continuously if you liked it smash the like button and if you're new to this channel so don't forget to subscribe this channel myself hsp baba magical chemistry group so definitely i will keep on giving such type of magical tricks on your unacademy neat english channel bye to all of you all the best we'll meet you in another session with marvelous tricks bye kids